This is the Sears Video Arcade 2 or the Atari 2800 depending on where you live. In Japan this console was sold as the 2600, the Atari that we all know and love. Its US release was a Sears branded product obviously. The original 2600 was released as the Sears Video Arcade so this was released as the Sears Video Arcade 2. The shape and design would later be used for the Atari 7800. The cases are virtually identical excluding this whole area with these buttons. It used four controller ports rather than two, had a power switch right here, the cable for the video was built in, used a normal external power supply, which would plug in right there. And it's a pretty good console, except for the controller. Now, I would imagine when the system was new, circa probably 1982 range, this would have been a wonderful controller. It has the paddle feature built in, but is also the standard, you know, four or eight way directional, you know, pad that we all know and love. Joystick, excuse me, not directional pad. Fire buttons are on the side, and they're kind of hard, squishy, if that makes sense. It's a really odd feeling to them. The controller fits well enough in the hand, and the paddle certainly feels great, and does play great. However, the insides of the controller use plastic for the, for the contacts, and that plastic has worn out over the years, meaning the controller is completely unresponsive. So we're going to do a little teardown so I can show you the inside of this relatively obscure controller. Maybe in another video we'll get to the console, but for now, just the controller. So here we have the Sears Video Arcade 2 controller by itself, which again, it's very comfortable in the hand, at least as comfortable as one of these older controllers can be. I'd say it's more comfortable than an NES controller, but not as comfortable as a Sega Genesis controller. Depending on how comfortable you feel with those controllers, that may vary. I personally think the Genesis controller was one of the best. Held together by two screws, Nothing really major there. And inside we have the actual cable, this small locking mechanism for the potentiometer for the uh, paddle controller, the actual fire buttons. They're just simple little plastic sled assemblies, nothing major. And carefully trying to remove it. We have the actual contact switches for both the buttons and the directional uh, pad joystick. The way it worked is these buttons when pressed would push up over the contacts and trigger them so it left a very awkward uh, feeling when used. And this is what I was talking about with this plastic. It doesn't look so bad, but if we get finger in there and push, it's, it has no real resistance and it does not push well against the uh, circuit board. It simply refuses to. The paddle controller, however, works amazingly well. So this controller is still very usable for games like uh, Super Breakout, Warlords, Kaboom. In fact, that might be a cool idea. Go play some Kaboom after this video. I might, might not. I don't know. But otherwise, that's basically it. I'm not going to go through and try to remove this section. I'll just go on and put this back in and, re and you know, seal this back up. But um, it's a pretty efficient controller design. Like I said, I'd imagine back in its day it worked very well, but a um, few main complaints are that these buttons, again, if I place it in here and push, the action feels kind of sticky. It's not as uh, instantaneous as the actual Atari button would be on the original controller. And the uh, plastic right here is very, very flimsy. I'm not going through much effort to push this and it is wiggling so if you imagine this being in the console and moving it I've occasionally gotten it to trigger it's extremely rare and I have tried to do some kind of modification to these 
The only thing I can think of is to possibly change out this plastic for a new plastic component or possibly make it out of metal. But I've never bothered to disassemble this controller further than this stage. That's about the end of that though. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.